Okay, so if you are dealing with knee pain, ankle pain, low back pain, hip pain, this is the video for you because I'm going to show you an easy way you can get a great workout at home to build stronger muscles and pain-free joints. So my name is Alyssa and I'm a doctor of physical therapy, founder of Keep the Adventure Alive Physical Therapy and Performance, and I'm here today bringing you an exercise video for lower body strengthening. So all you need is a RIT Fit set of body supported straps. You can also use TRX supported straps. If you've never used these before and are interested in learning more, there is a link below to purchase. These are half the price of the TRX bands. They are around $60 and totally worth the investment because I have so many clients that have success with these. I don't work for them. I don't get any promotional value from promoting their products. The Amazon affiliate link is below. But these products are so, so great, especially if we have arthritis. So here we go. You're going to take your bands. You have two straps. And then a part that goes inside the door. So you're going to shut it in a door. And I always like to just give it a few pulls just to make sure it's not going anywhere. Okay, so what I like most about these bands is you always have upper extremity support. So you have support with your arms to be able to make exercise less scary and we can do the movements to really build some strength to get through that full range of motion. Okay, so we're going to go through a circuit of four exercises that I love to use with my clients who have lower extremity pain and want to start exercising again. So you're going to hang on to both handles. Palms are going to be facing each other. For the first exercise, what you're going to do is you're going to relax your arms. You're going to step back with your right foot and then pull your knee forward. Step back and pull forward. Your knees are just slightly bent. This is more of a balance exercise, but you should also feel the leg that you're standing on. So my left leg should feel that hip really trying to keep you stable as you step back and come forward. You want to do enough where you do start to feel your hip fatiguing a little bit. And then you're going to switch sides and then it's going to be the same thing, but the opposite side. So stepping back and then pulling forward, bending your knees just slightly. All right. So now what we're going to do is you're going to make sure you have enough room side to side. So you're going to find a spot on the floor. Like for me, I have boards on the floor, but you can also put something on the ground or just step over an imaginary line. So what you're gonna start doing first is just step over or step side to side if you don't have an object. So this is going to start first because a lot of times we have some instability and not a lot of confidence going side to side. Now, to make this harder, because this is usually pretty easy, I want you to then try to hop side to side. Just a small hop, but you do have that upper extremity, your arms supporting you. And you're just hopping as side to side as best as you can. Get that heart rate going a little bit but starting to get our body used to moving side to side. Okay, now for the third one, you're gonna have your palms in front of you facing down. What you're going to do is you're gonna lift one leg and bend forward and come back up. This is another balance exercise. Lift forward, but it should not flare up any pain. You're just going as far as is comfortable for you. So you're just bending forward and then coming back. You can slightly bend the knee that you're standing on and you can slightly bend the knee that's going back as well. 
And then you're going to switch to the other side. Same thing, you're bending forward. The farther you go forward, the harder it's going to be. So you can start out nice and low first, or high I should say. And then you can, as you get more comfortable, you can keep working down. But we want to be careful because it is a balance exercise and these aren't going to be super supportive if we do lose our balance. So start out just getting confident in that low or in that higher range of motion. And then as you get more confident, you can come further down. This next part, you'll need a chair. So you're going to place the chair kind of right behind you if you can keep your arms slightly bent. So then you're going to sit down. Your arms are going to be a little bit bent, just more relaxed. You're going to put one foot in front and try to point your toe up. And you're going to leave one leg behind. And so essentially you're going to pull yourself up and stand up and then slowly sit back down. So this is a modified single leg squat. So you're gonna stand up and then sit back down. Now again, you can use your arms, so this typically tends to be a little bit safer because you can help with your arms. Because if a lot of times if you tried to do this without your arms, it might be pretty difficult. The further out your foot is in front, the harder it's gonna be. You can slide your leg back to make it a little bit easier. So you can adjust that front foot wherever you need it to really help you out. And then as you start to get used to this, try to focus more on your legs and less on pulling up with your arms. Stand up and sit back down, straighten the leg that's behind and then sit back down. The last exercise, we're just going to do a supported reverse lunge. So. You're going to stand with your arms relaxed, your elbows bent, and you're gonna take a big step back, bend both knees, and then you can use your arms to pull yourself up. Bend both knees and come up. Bend both knees. I'm straightening my arms as I come down because I'm stepping backwards and then pulling forward. Now when you're doing this, I want you to think about Someone pushing your head straight down. So we're not leaning forward. Step back, bend both knees. Just go down as far as you can. Now the goal is to get a little lower because the lower we go, the harder it's gonna be. Step back, come down, come up. Step back, come down, come up. So those are the five exercises So those are the five exercises we can use with a supported TRX style bands in order to really start to build some lower body strength without flaring up our joint pain. So I highly recommend if you don't have a set of these, if you could borrow them from a friend that might have some, or if you're able to go ahead and purchase those, I would highly recommend it because there's tons of exercises you can do, not only lower body, upper body, you can do things for your core as well. So if you have any questions, go ahead and put it down in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and go ahead and subscribe to the channel by clicking that red button below. So that way you can get updates when I do release new videos. Thanks for watching.